Good evening, guys. First of all, I want to say thank you for being patient with me over the past couple weeks. It's been a little bit of time since I've recently uploaded anything, and, well, I've just been busy. So, uh, what we're going to do today is, is a panel that I've got in my collection that I've been meaning to do a little bit of a video on them. And uh, here we're going to make it tonight, so, and the reason being is because I believe after tomorrow this panel won't be coming back home with me. I'm taking it out to a swap meet and uh, the, other, the other enthusiasts that I'm friends with out there, I think he's going to be uh, trading this panel for a couple of simplex panels. So uh, what we're looking at here is the one to the very right. It's the IBMer, or, or just call it an IBM panel from 1947. And this is a control panel that had come out of an, an old high school. So uh, I, I ran across this panel, oh, uh, I'd say six, seven, eight months ago or something like that. And I've never gotten a chance to do a video on it. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and over here and we'll open it up. We'll take a look inside. I don't have a lot of time on this uh, video, so we'll make this quick. <clears throat> So, as you can tell, this is an all black model, and it has the uh, textured paint to it. That's something that was common back in that time period. It's in very decent condition, too. It has the external trouble bell down here, and that's also an IBM bell, 4-inch gong. And we'll go ahead and open up this panel Take a look on the inside of it real quick. So there's a glass insert for the door to read the DC gauges. And then you've got the lock mechanism over there on the door. And then here's a look at the control panel itself. The slate board and the uh, coating, coating motor on this panel was actually swapped out some point in the mid-1980s with a conventional... Uh, I'd say a 2001 or a 2120 coating card. So that kind of uh, de depreciates the panel, takes away the value of it in my eyes. So they got a mechanical relay on it. And that works in conjunction with all the original mechanical relays for each of the zones on this control panel. So we can uh, pop this card off here and we'll take a look at that real quick. It's a, just a simple... Uh, coating card it doesn't have the LED on it but uh, if you're curious uh, this is a uh, card number 556 200J so and then there's the uh, terminal block that it plugs into up here and some of the terminals where you can uh, wire in in conjunction with the rest of the relays on the control panel and then there's a small power supply down there attached to it I believe the date on that assembly there is 1986. Uh, I could be wrong, but uh, it looks to be about 86. So, working our way up on top here, you can see the very large size relays. Um, and when the uh, fire alarm system is, is engaged, these relays will bounce back and forth like this. They'll tick, so to speak, like that based off the code that this panel would be put in. I believe this was a 444, a 444 code. I'm not sure. Could could have been something different. But, uh, and, and then on, on top here, you can tell the two empty slots. I used to have red incandescent bulbs there, but they broke. So, unfortunately, I did not have any on hand that I could reinstall. And then right beside each one, you have a DC amper, milliamper gauge. To show you the milliampers running through the system. And then you got two zones there. And then you have some terminal blocks up on the top there too. Now, I gotta make a quick correction here. Um, <clears throat> this board back here, guys, is not slate actually. Because a lot of people do confuse that with slate and sometimes it it just slips out the mouth. But that's actually a bake light coated asbestos board. So as long as you don't fracture those boards, or chip them, or drill through them, you're not going to disturb the asbestos fibers, but that is genuine asbestos. And the black, like I said, is a bake-like coating on it, which was a popular thing 
for back in the time as Bakelite is a very good insulator with electricity. So we'll go down here, we'll take a look beside the coating setup that we have two more of the large relays. There's one over here, and then there's one over here for another zone. <coughs> and then we have some resistors down on the bottom here. You got two fuse blocks and three of the large resistors, and those suckers do get pretty hot when this is active. And then in the middle there, you can see I got two three-inch trouble bell gongs, which are also international business machines. And this is all original except for the replacement of the code motor over to an electronic digital card. And taking a look down here on the very bottom, I don't have a lot of light, nor can I really zoom in on it, but there is an original brass tag that says Fire Alarm Control Panel, International Business Machines Corporation. And as I said, this is a 1947 construction on this panel. And down there we got some, some more terminal blocks where you have your main AC power going in and different distribution blocks on the bottom. <coughs> And these terminals here are where you would have had your hookups for your original coating motor setup, which is now, like I said, digital. The friend of mine who might be acquiring this panel does happen to have a spare code motor with the glass globe over top of it. And he says if he gets this panel off of me, he will be putting the original motor back in it, which I am very happy for him. So, that is my IBM panel. I'm glad I got to show this off before there's a possibility that it might not be coming home tomorrow. Just be on a lookout for my channel. Um, the panels that he's trading are four, no, I'm sorry, three more modern simplex panels. One's a 4010, one's a 4002, and I think he has a 4003 evac panel for me, so we'll just have to see how that all goes tomorrow. But uh, like I said, just in case this one doesn't come home with me, I wanted to put this up real quick so everybody can see in more detail what I have sitting here. I'll just go ahead and throw my card back. In here, I'm going to be keeping the uh, 2001 code card as well as this, <clears throat> the uh, terminal block and adapter for it, as I don't believe he's going to want that. So, that's that. Oh, by the way, not to mention, I did grab a few more devices and control panels. I want to be showing them off here pretty shortly. So uh, stay tuned to my channel, and I'll get those uploaded as soon as possible. But as of right now, that concludes the IBMer from my collection. Thanks for watching.